Welcome back, folks, to Chicago 811. Hope everybody's having a good day. We got another great video for you guys. Um, contractors want to do some work. Probably from my location, a quarter mile down, we're trying to attempt to locate. It's a difficult to locate. It's hard to locate because of the distance. We are going way down there where those red lights are. That's probably about a half a mile. So let's get right into the video. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day. Alright folks, we're going to try to get past the locator. Uh, apparently other locators had tried to make the attempt to locate it and it was unsuccessful. This is our only access point. This KV line's coming out of substation. What I'm going to do, which if you guys go um, drop the box method, do the drop in box method, always get a second pair of eyes and call your supervisor or someone higher than you when you're attempting to drop in the box on a high profile KV line. So what I'm, I'm attempting to do is drop the pay KV, drop the box to make the attempt to locate this KV line and hopefully by me doing this method it will travel way down there um, apparently I was told other locators power mold this line and the issue is when you're power molding it we all these street lights here the state street lights are running on 480 480 volts so on power mode you're going to pick up the street lights not the KV line so remember that folks, anytime you have street lights like this all the way down, you're going to power mold the street lights. And I'll show you an example. What am I power mode right here? What am I power mode? My gain is at 27%. Yeah, my power mode's pushed me over to the street light. So you get a good response of power mode by the curb, and it's typically where the street lights are running by the curb. That could be uh, a costly and dangerous mistake. So guys, anytime you locate the high profile cables like this, always get a second pair of eyes. You can't get, you can't locate it by direct connect. Get your, get someone higher up involved. Cause you don't want this kind of damage. Well, two feet away from the pole, and what I'm going to use, I'm going to use guidance mode. If you guys ain't trained on guidance mode on this equipment, then don't use it. Because if you don't know how to use guidance mode, you're going to get a damage. You can mismark facilities like you wouldn't believe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start away up high. And we'll work our way down all the way down to the curb line. Remember, we powered mold the street lights that was next to the curb line. And you go nice and slow with it. And you can see where my arrow changed the direction already. Now it's, po now it's pointing towards the street. And you can see. by the curb and it's pointing away from the curb now. And you can see where my dad is versus where my power mode was by the curb. You 
see where my car mode is versus where my tone is. These guys are power moding the street lights. Prime example, street lights, my tone on a 34 kV line. We're about four feet off. Four feet off, that's, that's a big, crucial damage. That's, that, that's bad, folks, that's really bad, four feet off. You could really, really hurt a contractor by mismarking a KV line that far off. Now I'm going slow with guidance mode, folks, not fast. You see where my compass is turned all the way? And my graph. And any time I'm locating high profile wire like this, I'm gonna start from one point and walk my way out there. So I'm walking a half a mile, folks, but I have to make sure I'm 100% on this KV line. And right now you can see I'm pretty much good distance off. And you can see how far away I'm off from the curb. I'm way out just in this parking lot. And you see um, the response is getting shittier and shittier. But it's still going. But the compass is going on like a little haywire, but I'm going to take it all the way out. See where my dad is way over there. Now if you attempt to power mold, watch what happens. You're not picking up the right cable. <clears throat> and you're not picking up the street lights. So most likely this is this is a communication line you're picking up uh ATT duct system here. So that's what happens when you power mode, you're power moding the wrong utility. Where my, where the power mode is over here folks, once again, and where I'm getting my tone, way over there. And I know my line's way over there folks, it's KV line. So like I said before folks, you have issues with high, high profile cables like this, deadly, you know, it's, it's a deadly cable if you mismark it. Somebody could really get hurt really badly or get killed. So always get a second pair of eyes, escalate it to your man management to make an attempt to locate this KV line correctly or get the utility company involved. And you can see where my guidance mode is. It's putting, it compasses all around the place, not even on top of this power mode. Now you can see it's pulling me right back where my dad is here. It's not the greatest tone, but so far it's lining up. All right, I went as far as I could by dropping a box here, I went as far as I could down there to that particle lot until my tone got untrustworthy. So what I'm what I'm planning on doing right now at this time, 
I'm, what I'm planning to do right now is go way down there by the parking lot, drop the box, and continue on. I got my last known mark way down there. All right, so I'm all the way out here. You can see how far I am away from the pole. Back out here in the park lot here. So what I'm going to do next, as you can see right over here, I got my cone set up. I'm gonna drop the box here. So there's your tenor folks on the box. So you wanna make sure you're across your line so you get a good single, good tone on your route. route. So I'm dropping the box. I'm gonna be crossing my lines. Now, my antenna's this way, and my line's running this way. So anytime you drop it, you wanna be across the line with your antenna on the box. So you get a good response all the way down. Good response right back over my dot. Well, I'm gonna complete my sweep, make sure that's the only tone. And I got a good response back right over my dot so you can see where my dots are now compared to power mode way down there that's power mode you're power moding a communication line or a different duct system AT&T duct system or whatnot but the KV line is definitely over here and you can see now the distance apart you're you're like 12 feet apart over here that's a big damage down there by the pole, we're only four feet. Now, we're about 12 feet. Still getting a good response here, folks. You can see on peak, it's shaky, but three feet. Bar went down somewhat. So right now with my machine, everything's a green, then the cable's here. I get a good response here with those dots by a completed sweep to make sure that's the only tone I get once again. And you can notice I got bad response, bad null, and the compass is pointing back that way. So it's telling me, the compass is telling me current is over there, that direction. So watch the compass. So now the compass is lining up. It's lining up with my direction of my cable. See the compass? And look at the direction. It's pointing right there. So I know I'm, on my, I'm back at my target point. So let's walk it out, see where it takes us.
or over here I got traffic signals and all that in my way. So I'm gonna walk another 50 feet away from all that stuff and do another sweep. Still getting a lot of interference. Traffic signals. <clears throat> traffic signals, traffic box. So I got to try to walk at least 200 feet. Maybe 300 feet. See if I can pick it up again. Alright, still another sweep and see if I can get it. Got a good response right back here underneath the brick paver. This one's a son of a bitch to locate. A lot of inter interference at this intersection to pick it up. This traffic control and everything else at this intersection is a pain in the ass, folks. High profile cables, make sure you escalate it to your management and to the utility companies. Safety is the key, folks. Safety is the key. Our, our job is to protect the, our clients' infrastructures and keep the contractors safe. So I got it right here. Good, re good response back. Looks like they put this fence post right on top of it. Nobody probably ever had, ever had a mark, and these contractors probably never knew that this cable was here. Alright, the substation is way back there. So this cable, if I'm still on it, so I'm way down there. I'm I'm way down there. So if I'm still on it without bleeding off onto any other cables, if I'm still on this cable. Yeah, we're trying to finish this locate to find the make sure we your mark. And I don't know what's going on out here. It just opened up with, I don't know what this is, snow, hail, so um, we'll get back at it after this stuff here blows over.